Hello Aries, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you your general monthly love tarot reading for the month of February 2021, uh, switching things up here on this channel. And I do want to take this moment to remind you to head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation and if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button for me and that little notification bell. Now, I meditated on your energy overall for the month in regards to the subject of love. And the message that came through was longing for more passion, longing for more passion. And we're doing this uh, differently. So I'm splitting this reading up into two sections. First one is going to be for our lovely single Leos. And the second section will be for our committed Leos wondering about a connection they currently have. And so I will leave a uh, timestamp in the description box below if you want to skip to either reading. And uh, with that said and done, let's get started. Hello, my single Aries. Uh, let's get this going by pulling a couple messages from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck and do some shuffling first. While I do so, this is a good moment to remind you this is a general reading for the, um, the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because this is for love. And um, so take what resonates because it's general and leave what doesn't. And if you're new to this channel, uh, when shuffling, it is good to be aware that I do take flyer or jumper cards. I'm guided to from the bottom or top of the deck. Alrighty, Spirit. What do we have to begin this uh, love reading for the month of February 2021 for our lovely single Aries? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, I can see that kind of tension, more than small passion right there. You can come in for our lovely single Aries. There's a sense of stubbornness, though. Other cards for Leo are coming out so smoothly. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we have first. Okay, so first we have Life is Speeding Up, which is going to be on its own. It feels like things have kind of slowed down for you lovely single uh, Aries out there where, you know, in your love life where you feel like you've had such a dry spell or you feel like um, you're just ready for this new connection. You're ready for um, someone fresh in your life, someone to kind of match the growth you've gone through recently. And Spirit's saying with this card, things are going to be speeding up in the month of February, so get ready. It's exciting. And then we have... Um, Embrace the in-between and tend to the small things. Yep. And so they're saying you're in an in-between stage, my friend. Um, you know, going through this kind of single stage of your life where it may feel like a dry spell at times, but there are a lot of lessons to be learned, a lot of healing that's been needed, right? A lot of changes you've been going through. So they're saying just don't stress, focus on the small things, just kind of go through, you know, day by day, week by week. And um, again, there, someone will be heading your way eventually but just kind of embrace this in between stage nonetheless. Canary spirit, sing your own song and co crow spirit, co-create with spirit. It was almost a tongue twister. Yeah, they're just saying, just keep trucking along my lovely single Aries. All you need to do is keep singing your own song. Um, and at the end of the day, co-create with spirit, manifest this new love that you desire. Manifest all the success you want, but at the same time, as long as you keep singing your own song, do your own thing, that's when this love heads your way effortlessly. Let's continue to do um, some shuffling so we can pull six tarot cards. Simple six card spread, if you will. <laughs> Bear with me, that was a complete struggle. Second shuffle down. All right, so what do we have for our single Aries out there to continue this uh, monthly love reading for February 2021? Okay. Ooh, we get an extra one. They're saying keep it to the side. Okay. Either way, we have plenty. Had to sneak another message in there, right, Aries? Okay. 
Interesting. All right, so we're starting off. Ooh, I'm going to keep that one hidden real quick. That's exciting. The star card. So the month of February starts off, my friend, and there's still some healing to do for you. And you're like, ugh, really more healing? But it's all in preparation for this new connection that's going to be heading your way. You know, it's in order to kind of not block this blessing coming from the universe in the form of a new romantic connection. And being side by side with the Sing Your Own Song card, they're telling you just, you know, while you're going through this little bit of uh, leftover healing at the beginning of the month, just start to sing your song, you know, get your voice out there and however you do it, you know, don't be afraid to sort of reach out to potential new connections or if one does come to your way, like I was saying, as a blessing from the universe, don't be afraid to sort of show them, show them who you truly are. You don't need any facades going into a fresh connection, right? Four of Pentacles. And so you move on to the middle of the first half of the month and it feels like you're sort of trying to protect yourself when it comes to um, any new connections that will head your way. It feels like you're very protective. Um, maybe even trying to control the beginning of a new connection that could potentially come in too much. Four of Pentacles being all about sort of needing to release the need to control the situation, every detail moving forward. You need to kind of release that grip a little bit so you can allow the universe and spirit to do their work, to work their magic for you. Eight of Swords. And so the first half of the month, month wraps up and it feels like um, you're going to do a lot of reflecting on yourself, your life in general, on your love life in the past. I'm asking yourself, is there something that's making me feel restricted right now? Is there something that's preventing me from uh, welcoming in this new uh, romantic connection that I desire at this time? And they're saying this is important, just don't let it get to a negative space. Allow it to be productive. It kind of goes hand in hand with this leftover healing that needs to be done. You wouldn't end up in this kind of um, way of being, I feel like, if there wasn't some healing left to be done. The Hierophant. So the second half of the month begins and it feels like you are feeling pretty good. It feels like this healing did some some good for you. You're feeling a little bit better, feeling more content, a little bit more at ease. Um, being aligned with the Star card once again, you're ready to kind of you're excited. It feels like at this point in the month, you're feeling a bit more hopeful about what's to come, the future of your love life, if you will. And being side by side with um, co-create with spirit once again. Look well, what happens when you sort of uh, side by side co-create with them, you know, manifest what you desire out of your love life. It just, you already feel good. And it feels like at this point, you could be almost automatically, instantaneously uh, seeing the results of this healing and in, inner work um, and co-creating with them as... Uh, so many new mages come in at this point to begin the second half. Exciting. And the Seven of Cups to move right along. So the middle of the second half of the month arrives and it feels like you have a lot of options to make. It's like when you go through a dry spell, my friend, and then all of these options come in after you do this necessary inner work in healing. And it's like this one connection offer comes in to start the second half and they make your way to the middle and it's like you have several to choose from. It feels like all eyes are on you. It feels good, but it can be overwhelming. And they're saying being aligned with the Four of Pentacles, see what happens when you release your grip a bit? You allow the universe and spirit to do their work. You've got more than enough options now. No more dry spell for our single areas. And then the wheel to finish off the six cards of the month. And so you finish off the month of February feeling like your love life is starting to change, like the wheel is starting to move after it just kind of was staying still for so long. Like your luck is starting to change. Almost feels like you have learned what you needed to from past rough situations and that's kind of being left in the past. The situations, the lessons come with you, of course. And in line with the Eight of Swords, they're saying you don't need, to see what happens when you reflect, when you kind of allow for things to go smoothly and, and be one with this healing and, and whatnot and inner work. Things change for the better and things are going to move forward in a beautiful direction for you. And then the surprise card was the Sun card. I mean, longing for more passion, of course, it feels like you want more passion in your life in general, especially in your life, given you've been single recently. And they're saying you have nothing but happiness ahead of you when it comes to your romance, when it comes to romantic life, rather. So keep your head up high and um, get ready for all that you have to look forward to in your love life, my friend. Full of passion. Let's um, pull an answer, angel answers, oracle card or two. 
for our single areas to wrap this up. Let's see what we got here. All right, the situation will improve forgiveness. Yep, forgive yourself for the decisions or um, situations you put up with in the past. Or for whatever it is, whatever the case is for you, the situation will improve. You will find somebody. Somebody will be sent to you, rather, by the universe and spirit soon enough. Don't give up hope. And then a final uh, two notes here. Listen to your intuition and you're ready. Yes, just when you have all these options to make and choices to choose from, listen to your intuition, trust that gut feeling. And they're saying you are ready for this new connection. You're ready, my friend. So with that said, my lovely single Aries, hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to head on down below and like this video and leave me a comment. I wanna hear all about your situation. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to this lovely channel. Hope you have the most amazing month and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, my committed Aries. Uh, let's get this going by doing some shuffling and pulling a couple messages from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And while I do uh, shuffle, it's good to be aware that this is, or it's a good reminder that this is a general love reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And because um, it's general, apply it to your situation, take what resonates, and do leave what doesn't. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. And it is good to know, moving forward, that when shuffling, I do take from the top um, and bottom of the deck when guided, but mainly I take flyer or jumper cards. I said that in reverse, but you get the point. Just good to be aware of. Spirit, to begin for our committed Aries for February 2021, love. Thank you, Spirit. Longing for more passion. Let's see. What else do we have for our committed Aries for love for February 2021? We got enough. Almost lost my voice for a hot second. All right, give me a moment. Wow. Koi fish spirit, there's always enough in electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. They're saying you always have enough resources, enough effort, um, I mean, excuse me, enough um, energy and time uh, to sort of bring your creative ideas to life when it comes to bringing some passion uh, or spark back to the relationship, the connection you're dealing with at this time. As well as, you know, there's always enough time for you to kind of um, spend time with this individual. You know, you always have enough resources and time to uh, spend time with those people you truly want to at the end of the day, don't you? Something to keep in mind for yourself and for that other individual in the month of February. And then we have take the lead. And so you're being reminded to take the lead and step up and do what you can to add more passion to the situation. Don't just sit back and expect them to fix things or to for it to happen naturally or automatically. You've got to put in that effort, you know, step up and um, show them that you care about this connection still. And then we have um, embrace the in-between and be here now. Feels like a lot of you um, who are drawn to this section of the reading, your connection, your um, relationship brand now, it feels like you're in a bit of an in-between stage. Feeling like you guys um, aren't what you were before, but it, it does feel like you do have a, somewhat of a future. So you kind of have to decide where that future is going to go. And so they're saying, just be here, be now. Try not to stress about the future too much. Just kind of worry, um, don't worry, but um, think about how you guys are going to sort of be in the present moment with each other, enjoying each other's presence. Again, bringing more passion to the situation, excitement, rather than stressing over what's to come. And we're moving on to the last two, which is Dragonfly Spirit, tr uh, Truth, Transcends illusion and parrot spirit. Watch your words. It, it feels like there are some illusions um, from the past, or it maybe feels like you will kind of discover truth when it comes to this connection or this individual. Maybe sort of um, seeing right through something that you may feel like isn't the truth coming from them. 
at times, or maybe that's referring to the past. But either way, what they're saying is watch your words. When you feel like you see right through something they're saying, or you feel like, um, feel very um, passionate about something, about the connection, but maybe it could go in a feisty direction, just watch your words. Think carefully before you speak in the month of February, because it does feel like you will be feeling quite honest, quite honest as your intuition is um, snowballing, at the very least when it comes to this connection. Let's do some shuffling and pull six tarot cards. Simple six card spread, if you will. One more shuffle. Bear with me, guys. I've been doing a lot of readings. Alrighty, Spirit. What do we have for our uh, committed Aries for February to continue? Thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming for our beautiful committed Aries in February. We're going for six here. Yeah. We're going to pull the last three from the top. Okay. Not surprised. All right, so we're starting off with the Justice card. And the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, excuse me, quite dehydrated. Uh, it feels like in the month of February, your intuition, you're getting more in touch with your higher self, which I truly feel will help you in your romantic life and your this connection. It'll help you um, sort of more clearly figure out how to move forward in a productive manner. Interesting. Starting off with the Justice card. To start the month of February feeling um, like you know, you're know you starting to get a, a sense of balance back in your life and, and it makes you feel like um, you can sort of, or you may be feeling or thinking about sort of this desire for more balance in this connection currently. And being side by side with this true transcends illusion, it feels like, again, for some of you, there's something from the past. Look up the angel number 22, um, the meaning there is a message for you. But there's something from the past where you kind of saw through um, something that this person was going through or, or telling you about. Um, you sort of saw tr the truth, saw right through them or the situation in the past. And it's something you guys are trying to get over. Um, and you kind of want a sense of justice and balance when it comes to that situation. And they're saying it will occur. Just have some patience. Eight of Pentacles to move right along. So in the middle of the first uh, half of the month arrives. And I do feel like you have a lot of work to do when it comes to this connection. You know, you're longing for more passion, longing for certain things to improve between the two of you with all that you have, you know, behind you guys in the past that you've been through together. And they're saying you got to keep working on it. You know, if you want this to last, you're going to have to sort of put in the effort. At times, it feels like you're going to be staying up late kind of discussing some of these issues with this individual. Excuse any noise in the background, but we have the um, King of Cups to move right along. And so the first half of the month wraps up and you're feeling quite peaceful and at ease when it comes to this connection. It, it does feel like in the middle of this first half of the month, maybe even a sense of a little hint of justice and balance when it comes to the issues leads you to kind of not stress about the connection as much anymore if you have been in the past, feeling more at ease once again, knowing that things will just kind of work out as they should. Seeing that once again, when you put in effort, we sort of trust the process and trust that everything happens for a reason. It leads to uh, a sense of contentment and peace within the relationship, the connection. And we're moving on to the second half of the month in spread and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're starting off the second half of the month very much thinking about this ideal life with this person, this connection, having a family for some of you, or thinking about how is this going to move forward if you already have a family with this individual. And being aligned with the Justice card, it's like you will have this happily ever after with this individual if you choose to kind of put in the effort and choose to view things in an optimistic way. But also being side by side with the watch your words how do you expect to kind of achieve this happily ever after with this person if you don't kind of tread carefully when it comes to your words? You know, being an Aries, you can at times let your passion and feistiness get the best of you and don't take that offensively. But within a relationship, it feels like at times, especially this connection, 
that we're referring to, you kind of need to reel back a little bit, watch your words, and um, remember that they are a sensitive individual that cares about you at the end of the day. We're moving on to the Ace of Wands. And once again, I, I do feel like your intuition is getting stronger and stronger, and it feels like you're sort of um, understanding what needs to happen next moving forward. It's like you're filling in the own blanks for yourself. Being aligned with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like the more you just you you realize deep down within this inner knowing that the more you work on this connection, the more it's going to improve. Period. Period. It's going to take a lot of work. There's your commitment is being tested, to say the least. The Ace of Cups to finish off the month. Yeah, you finish off feeling like, you know, things are overflowing, like in a sense that you, <laughs> you feel quite abundant within this connection at this point. Feeling like, yeah, there's a lot of work still left to do to get things back to or to where you want them to be, where you both want things to be. But you feel quite abundant nonetheless. Again, it's like the end of the first and second half quite abundant, um, quite abundant, of course, but um, quite peaceful and content, uh, trusting that there's nothing but abundance ahead for the two of you, as long as you once again, uh, don't give up on each other. Let's finish off by pulling a message or two from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. That was quick. Yeah. Okay, we got some. Nice and easy. Okay, we got no need to worry, romance, and yes. Yep, absolutely, my friend. You have no need to stress, no need to worry about this connection. Again, you just need to put in the necessary work and uh, watch your words and you'll be golden. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're saying you will have the sense of passion and romance in the future of this connection. All you have to do is say yes to um, moving forward with them and committing to working things out at the end of the day. And there's nothing but romance ahead for you guys. Beautiful. So on that note, my committed Aries, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to head on down below, like this video, and leave me a comment about your situation, as well as subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.